supporting the people of Palestine that came together from Irish artists all over the country after what happened last year in Gaza. People just, um, they couldn't stand by and do nothing anymore. So over the last couple of months, we've been organizing this festival. Um, so there's 50 events nationwide and over 300 artists, but we wanted to start with remembering the children that died. So Hannah, we've just uh, we've just witnessed a performed reading here in the new theatre of your play Bitter Enders, mm -hmm. and it got a rapturous reception. There was a fantastic post-show chat. Can you just give us a little synopsis of what Bitter Enders is? Yes, it's the story about a family who live in Jerusalem, and what's happened is they've come home one day, and uh, Israeli settlers have moved into their house and then uh, Israeli court has ruled that they have to share their house with these settlers. Part 1. We were inside a house in East Jerusalem. There is a visible line drawn in chalk on the floor. One side of the line is empty of people but furnished. On the other side of the line is a basic kitchen and a family. People were really engaged with it. It's, it's probably, it sounds unusual to think that there can be comic, comedic elements to a play set in Palestinian community in Jerusalem. I don't want to lose you. You're my only daughter. You're young, we need you. Oh, if something happens to me, it doesn't matter. I'm an old man, I'm good for nothing. For well, that reason, Granny should go. She's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think um, the idea of uh, having a laugh when uh, exploring Palestine is probably quite an anathema to some people, but I'm half Irish, and so I am full of black humour, and I think the, the Palestinian streak also has a lot of black humour, and I think that the situation, it, this sort of bizarre situation, yes. uh, humour has to come out of it, because if you don't laugh, what are you going to do, basically? Is she okay? Is she hurt? She's still only got one leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. A birth defect. <laughs> Be gentle with her. Consciously, I think initially when I started writing it, I wanted it to be about the, uh, the house and the, the sh the being forced to share. Mm. But then I discovered this fact that actually often, um, if Palestinians' houses happen to be uh, on some strange line uh, as uh, dictated by the Israeli government um, a and a house is in the way and needs to be removed, um, it's actually the Palestinians who are forced to bear the cost of that. And I really, uh, I was so incensed by that that I wanted to include that in the play. And so, yes, the reason that we have that happening at the end is, is directly linked to that, because that, those are the two things that I wanted to give, the two bits of information I wanted an audience to learn is that sometimes Palestinians are forced to share their house with Israelis, and sometimes Palestinians are forced to bulldoze their own home. Maha, listen. Not only is your father a coward who can't provide for his family, uh, protect them, now he's paying for the enemy to destroy his home with money he doesn't have. It was a, it was a privilege. Thank you for having me.